Hello, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamps here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Now today I thought that we could have a look at using some of this really cool cut and dry stamp felt from Ranger together with some uh, Distress Reinkers and make an apple tree. So let's take a look at one of our stamps. Uh, this is a really neat little stamp and I want to show you how to actually colour in this tree using these reinkers. So if we take a piece of this felt and we're going to use the lint side, the first thing we want to do is ink up the stamp in a black archival or in, in a permanent ink pad and then we're going to stamp the image onto the lint. So I just want to stamp the image onto the lint side or the felt side like so and that's, the, that's what we're going to do next, is colour this in. So if I, if I colour this in, I could take my, my drop, my, my reinkers here, and I could just um, drop colour onto here. But it would be quite random, and I'd like to be a little bit more specific than that. So a girlfriend put me onto this trick, Maria. I think this is a very, very clever idea. And you use a lot less of the ink than you would if you just took the pipette directly and went straight down onto the uh, felt. So what we're going to do, and I've already done it here, I've decided which four colours I'm going to use, and I've written them on a piece of card. Festive berries, peeled paint, pine needles, and wild honey. And then what I want to do is put that into a Ziploc bag, like so. Now this Ziploc bag now is going to become my paint palette, which is very, very ingenious. And then what I want to do is just take my, my particular colours that I want to use and just put a couple of drops next to each name. So this way I know exactly what the colours are and I'm not over egging. If I want more paint or more ink, forgive me, then of course I can just go and get some more drops, can't I? But this is an ingenious way. Watch what happens. Obviously these, these uh, reinkers are great for reinking your distress pads, which is what they were intended for, I'm sure. Um, but in the meantime, we've got some fantastic ideas coming through. So I've got my four colours already on my palette and all I need now is a, a clean paintbrush, a clean dry paintbrush and I'm going to start first of all, let's just get my paintbrush ready and I'm going to start with the festive berries and I think I'll drop the apples into place first. So let me just drop my apples onto my tree. See, how else would you colour in a silhouette stamp? It's ingenious, really. So I'm going to actually paint the tree. And I'm going to make a bespoke, if you like, a bespoke ink pad. I just want to drag a little bit of that red through there, too. The other thing is that you can always add it, but you can't take it away. If you, if you just... Lay down your colour first where you'd like it. See, it's quite, it's quite a lot. Now I'm going to change colours. So I just want to clean up my brush. And then I'm going to take the wild honey and I'm going to run the wild honey up through the trunk of the tree. So I'm literally painting my, my tree. And the colour, don't worry, the colour will bleed. It does. It, it bleeds like an ink pad. But the fantastic thing is, once you've done this job, it's brilliant because you can... Let's go into peeled paint now. You can use this uh, paint, this, this ink pad, if you like, again and again and again. Now let's just put the green now around the, the apples. Um, see, one of the magical things is, of course, this Ziploc bag that we're using as a as a little um, palette is going to do us a big favour in a minute because when we're done using this 
this particular bespoke ink pad, if you like, we can put it in the Ziploc bag. This is so clever, watch. We're going to put it in the Ziploc bag. We've already got the piece of paper in there that tells us exactly what colours we, uh, we used. And if we close the Ziploc bag and seal it, we can come back and use it again and again and again. How cool is that? Now let's get some pine needles going as well. That's another green. So we just want to add a little bit of darker green as well. So here we go. Let's just add a little bit more around here. Maybe in there as well. You can always go back in and add a bit more apple and you know it's difficult to see exactly where you're he headed with this until you actually start using it. But let's have a go. Let's just add a little bit of green, a bit of dark green, a bit of light green. We'll see. So let's have a look what it looks like because we can always change what what we've done if we want to add a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that maybe a tiny little bit of green down there as well okay let's check it out see and then what you've done is you've made an ink pad to fit this particular stamp and uh, fortunately clarity stamps the clues in the name we can see through them so now I can use my my stamp and I can stamp straight in over the top of the ink pad that I've just made specifically for this stamp. How cool is that? Now let me just move that to one side so I don't put my elbow in it. And then I want to see, should we check it on a bit of paper? Now let's check it on a piece of copy paper first. Oh, let's just push the boat out. See how, see how, um, how good this looks. Let's just go for it. Fantastic. Look at that. Cool, this is fantastic, isn't it? Look, you see? So you've got your lovely reds and you've got your fantastic... How superb is this? Look, so we're going to put a pair of trees in there. Isn't that lovely? Right, and then what we'll do is... I don't even want to add anything to it, really. But what I can do is I can move around a little bit. If I think it's a little bit stripy, for example, there, then I can ink up the like so. Let's make some hedges underneath the... Let's make some hedges. This is pretty cool. Look. Right. Okay. And I think we can even make some echo hedges, like second generation. Here we go. Let's have a look. Come up the sides a little bit. See, now, if I want to, so I don't get a, a line, if I blot it first, then I can come in here. Look, isn't this super? Right, so I'll blot it on a piece of copy paper and that way I won't get a line off the side of the... Nice, huh? How's that? Super. Now I've got one finishing trick. So I've got this stamp and I want to make it look like it says good luck. And let's, let's just hang this between the two trees. Now you, you see the, the tree, uh, the trees are closer together. So what I want to do now is basically ink up the words. You don't have to use the stamp only for one thing. Let's ink up that half of the stamp, like so. And then I only want that much of the stamp as well. And then I reckon if I stamp this about there, that will sit in the trees beautifully. I'm pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. But do you know what? I bet I could put a tree over that. Watch. <laughs> if I blot it here really, really thoroughly, I could even put a little tiny hedge across the back there. No one will ever know. Perfect. So there we are. That's my little offering. I'm not going to make a masterpiece. I just want to um, show you how to make bespoke custom stamps and how to turn a normal silhouette tree stamp into a beautiful apple tree or a pear tree or a cherry tree. Now, over here, we've still got some ink left on here, which is a terrible waste. But um, the point that I want to make is that we can... Actually, I'm going to leave that because I, I want to use that for later. But let me show you here, for example. If, I, if I've got my... If I take my um, card out of here, there we go, my piece of... my key... See, here's one I did earlier. This one's already bled. 
but that doesn't matter at all. And then what I can do is pop that in there, close that, and then I know that this is exactly that. And here's another one that I did earlier. So thank you very much for joining me and I hope that you enjoy that. I hope you get lots out of that. There's the, the potential is quite astounding when you, uh, when you look at it and you may have to revisit a lot of your stamps and uh, see what you can come up with. The silhouette stamps and the bold stamps are the best ones. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.